So if we close that and go into our outliner, um, if we go into our outliner and actually, uh, actually render that, render it. That's the one that we've got. Click on that one. See, it's producing the same result. So close that one. Now, what we want to do is actually have a clean version. All right, you want you want a clean version. So what you want to do is go to display. Hi, uh, make sure make sure you um, you click. You've got two. You've got two here. You've got that one, which is the 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 um, the frame. Okay, you've got the frame on it. Make sure you click on the frame because there's a copy and the frame. Make sure you click on the frame. Go to uh, display, hide hide selection. It to hide uh, that one. It to hide uh, whatever it is that we selected the the frame, and render it. So when you render it, you end up having a a clean version, a clean copy, which is a um a high a higher resolution one but it will render you actually manipulate the low resolution one and produce results of a high resolution model alright it will be lighter it will be able to render in real time it will be far much better so if you close that one there's other ways to get um, there's other ways other ways to, to do what I just did which includes um, going to attributes editor alright Go to uh, render stats, render statistics, and and click and check these ones. And check these options. If you've got these options unchecked, if you've got these options unchecked, there there will be no need to go. Um, there will be no need to go to display and hide selection. There will be no need for that. All you have to do is uncheck these ones and uh, render it. It will it will render um, properly. Let me just get uh, shared, receive shared, those motion blur. Make sure prime you leave primary visibility on. I would actually re recommend to go to. Um, I would actually recommend to go to uh, display then hide that way it's easier because for this one you have to make sure you've got the display highlight otherwise you have the you 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 actually um, hide everything you know you or sometimes sometimes if you name if you don't name them you can make a mistake so it's better to just go to um, to select what you want go to um, uh, display then hide Now, um, the more important thing about this is that is um, is that the head and the copy of the head, which which are both the, the let me bring back the outliner again. Uh, window outliner. The most important thing you need to bear in mind is that the head and the copy of the head are connected by mo the by this modifier thing called the smooth the the poly smooth proxy okay and that can be viewed that's a a, a smooth proxy group but it's um actually connected both uh, the original and the copy are connected by the poly smooth um poly smooth proxy so you can actually have the poly, you can see the poly smooth uh, proxy by going to the channel box. You see at the bottom there's the poly smooth proxy on here, and it has all these um, thing, all these are uh, things that you can manipulate as well. So uh, let's close that one and go to the attributes editor and uh, click on the poly smooth proxy. If you click on the poly smooth proxy, let's see. If we click onto the poly smooth proxy, 
you can you can see that you can notice the subdivision subdivision is pretty much the the result changing the resolution of your actual object so if let's say it's on it has no resolution whatsoever this is mainly this is um default like whatever you model you had first is what the um the the zero resolution will be so at the moment we've got that as the standard um standard um as as default so if we render this model you have uh, the you know the the rough um the rough version close this one and uh, <clears throat> we'll be able to um actually increase the resolution but what you need to bear in mind again is uh when you whenever you, you increase the resolution you actually um multiplying the vertices the 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 um, the faces by 4 so you've got um you've got one here so if you increase by one you modify you have uh, four all right you have four in here so four you have uh, you have eight then eight uh, by four so on and so forth so it just increases exponentially and um, So what this does is uh, it allows you to set number of divisions so like that. So if we actually render this, if you render this, it will be, be like perfect, but it will be hard, it will be, it will be next to impossible to actually animate this in real time. Or um, just to animate this, it will be like hard, you know, you actually need a more powerful um, Mac or PC or whatever it is that you're using. You need a more powerful uh, processor, and it's just hard. But why? Why would you have to go through all that trouble when you can actually um, use a subdiv proxy and uh, do exactly what we've done? So I go by the by a thumb of rule that if it looks good, it is good. So make sure it, if it looks good to you, which means it's good. So I usually leave it at um, at two, and um, here I usually leave it at two, then work with that. So see what works for you and leave it there and uh, try to work there try to work around that um, number whatever number it will be so um, what else do I need to tell you so the key to this subdivision is to set the number to what you want and uh, that's pretty much keep it that way you can play with it a little bit and you know exactly what works for your model so um, I just want to show you guys how uh, subdiv, subdiv proxy works and uh, you can use it for those times when you want to do organic modeling for subdivision surfaces and things like that. So I hope you've learned something and um, advance to the next video. Thanks.